folks, it's Adam here. Welcome along to another Just Get Out There video. I'm really, really, to be honest, quite excited about this one. It's something I've always wanted to do, and it's the first time I've actually had an opportunity to do a review video of two relatively modern products side by side. When I say modern, the whole concept of the inflating tent pole tent, as I will call it, probably not the official term. I keep calling them self-inflating, but they're certainly not self-inflating. So yes, the inflating pole tent, that concept being, you've probably seen them around, they're starting to make a bit more of a, a mark in that we're just replacing the standard poles with basically a long tube which inflates with air uh, and takes the whole necessity out of that, putting poles together, running them through kind of little threads, it's just a question of pumping in some air and the whole thing will go up easy peasy, or so they say. So there you go, that's the concept. Because what we intend to do with this video today, we've got these two uh, very similar and, to be honest, identically priced tents. This Eurohike 400 is available at Go Outdoors for the price of £249. Okay, that's what you need to know about this. This one here, is the Air Seconds Family 4.1. They're calling it the XL. Not sure really why. I don't believe that there's a smaller one available. However, uh, and this is from Decathlon. This one is 229. However, you have to buy the air pump separately. And as I understand it, the air pump with this one actually comes as part of the price, which brings them both on the exact level part at roughly 250 quid each. Uh, they are known as 4.1s. Uh, four meaning four man uh, and point one meaning just the one bedroom the one sleeping area so they are very very similar in design and from what I've seen already the actual dimensions of them are very very similar as well um, but just before we start weight wise uh, this we said was 14.7 kilos as a packed weight uh, and my one was uh, I did 12.3 kilos. However, as Paul said, his pump is probably in there. This is the pump, as I said, that I bought separately, uh, that has brought the price up to, uh, to, make, to equate to basically 250. Not really a lot of weight in it. So, in effect, the decathlon considerably lighter. But again, <laughs> unless, you're, unless you're wild camping and you've got this in your rucksack, which I very much doubt would be the case, any kind of family camping type scenario, you're gonna have your car very, very close by to the campsite, I'm guessing. So the weight isn't really an issue as such. We're going to uh, inflate, put up, erect, however you wanna say it, these two tents side by side and we're gonna make some comparisons and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm fascinated to know which one comes out on top. Ground sheet sounds thicker. It's quite sturdy.
hard to inflate now. I think that'll do. I don't know why, whenever I think of giant inflatables, I can't help thinking of Phoenix Knight. <laughs> I know the episode you're thinking of. Yeah. <laughs> I've discovered that this is actually quite hard to do now because we need to That's an issue, that is. <laughs> ah, that's stuck in, that's why. Ah, we had trouble with the valve each time. We've done it three times now. Let's, let's go for number four. <laughs> Scratch head. Hmm. How did you do that first one then? I just um, it just came out and it didn't. It. Yeah. Just just practice taking it off again. Let's put a little bit of something in it. That is staying in. Look, it's not coming all the way out. Should it come all the way out then? Yeah, because that stops it deflating. I'll tell you what, let's move I hope, on. I hope it's not faulty. That's what I'm thinking. I know it's out of sequence. So we're having trouble here with that valve, as you've just seen. It looks as though this should come out it acts as a valve to stop all the air pouring out, as you've just seen. So out of sequence, we're just going to... Because it didn't happen with the first one. Let's uh, try the third one. Obviously, we're going out of sequence here, but... I mean, God, they go up really well, really quickly, with no minimum effort, but this is proving to be the difficult bit. Uh, what did you do differently? No, I did the same as the back one, so this middle one would We've appear got to be a, a bit horrible dodgy. feeling. We might have a dodgy valve. Got a WD-40 in your car? No. Is it just a question of loosening that valve up? I think so. To make it spring back a bit easier. <laughs> size of it. I'm glad I didn't get the bigger one. Right. This is this is the difficult bit. Got it. Don't know why it's so sensitive, but we've got it. I like this twin top effect. Yeah. That's what it must mean by the ventilation. I think that's the ventilation hub there, isn't it? Oh uh, yeah, it will be, won't it? So I can see the mesh. But, could you argue that's in the winter, it'd be bloody cold. <laughs> <laughs> well. 
So I just need to put a bit more air into this one. Let's do a walk around. Let's do a walk around. So this is the Cancha or the Decathlon uh, and it's the four man four by one. So there we go. First things first, this guy rope that I was on about is the, are these things. This sort of link here, I just, I don't know, I don't get it. And it's the same at the back as well. In fact, let's quickly show you what I'm on about. Got one here as well. I mean, <laughs> Do you know what? Ironically, we've actually got that one to work a bit easier. We're just pulling these two taut and it, but I don't know, is it really worth it? Because if you look on the Euro hike, not, not nearly so complicated, a lot simpler. And I just can't help thinking, but is that being picky? I don't know. I think it's just the fact that I was getting really quite annoyed with this. <laughs> Couldn't really get it to work at all. Um, but with mine, as Paul said, when he noticed when I got this out of the bag, the first thing that we both noticed is the thickness of this ground sheet. That's proper hard, hardcore, that is. Do you know what that reminds me of? Um, one of those sacks that you buy, garden waste sacks, you know, for, for garden waste that you go and pile all your leaves and branches and things in. That, that is really thick. So that's a plus point, obviously. That's really good and sturdy. And, um, and also, Unlike on the Euro hike, this is not connected. Uh, and as you can see by these all the way around, you can actually disconnect it. And I've also got the option as well. So you've got this kind of loop around here. In fact, Paul, Paul will demonstrate. And I can actually peg that down because I suppose you could argue, particularly if you've got young kids, having that lip, <laughs> how many times <laughs> would a kid be going, um, head over heels. I was going to say arse over tip then, but I'll change it to head over heels. Cut. <laughs> so, um, Paul's just pointed out, we've just rolled up the door. The actual thickness of the material used, or the denier, as we, uh, as we like to term it as. <laughs> and again, we've just pointed out that Abby, <laughs> is it Abby Barnes? Yeah. Abby Barnes, the great Abby Barnes. I love her channel, she's brilliant. Um, but I've seen a review with her and she refers to every single individual thing like the denier, uh, which obviously is just a posh way of saying the thickness of the material and the, what's the word, thermiability. There's a word for it about how waterproof it is basically. So it all makes a difference. But Paul anyway is saying that this does feel a bit thicker than on the Euro hike. But anyway, we will look up in the specifications at some point, I will put them below and explain. So first impression as we walk in to mine is, yeah, we have got headroom, just about. If I take my glasses off my head, can you see that? Just about, I'm 5'11 as well. So anyone taller than 5'11, probably gonna struggle a bit to stand tall, if I'm honest. Uh, this is something that, it's the um, support bar, if you like to call it. That just inserts either end. Took me a while to work that one out, to be honest, but there we go. Um, and that just adds a bit of stability, I'm guessing, between the two front uh, inflatable poles. Uh, and also a handy place to hang <laughs> wet towels <laughs> and possibly another lamp if need be. But pleased to see we've got a whole hook there as well, which is good. But anyway, uh, and it's, it's massive. It is pretty big. It'd easily fit a family table. Uh, I'm guessing a nice sort of uh, rectangle table with four chairs. Two adults, two kids, no problem. You get them in. Uh, windows wise, we've got just a bit hard with one hand. I think Paul's going to do the other one for us. Oh, oh, there's another one there. Oh, joy. 
Anyway, you get the picture. We've got, a, there. we've got a window there. Um, and this is just mesh. And as Paul pointed out, all well and good, it's let the air flow. But what happens if you forget about that and it pours with rain while you're out, come back to a very wet tent. However, with this thick rimmed ground sheet, you can have a paddling pool. <laughs> When you get back. That's what it reminds me of, the thickness of this it material. Does. It does, it does. It's like a paddling pool. Yeah. But there we go. So but as you can see, it's pretty big. You know what? I was going to go next door, but just while we're here, because there's not really a lot to see. We've got two handy pockets there. Always good to have pockets. Uh, all this, I technically guess I can remove if I require, just to have a bigger outer shelf space if I wanted it. Um, it's just pretty standard design with a lot of these 4.1s or 2.1s, however you want to call it. And then let's just show you the bedroom. Straight away, plus points for me are the hooks again. So we've got hooks for lights, two lights there. We've got two pockets that side, two pockets that side. Always one for pockets, always great. And then plenty of room, plenty of width. Um, for my camp bed or for four people on the floor whatever you want to do it however though um i have to say straight away i was a bit disappointed in the headroom and again as you can see there's no chance of me standing up admittedly yes it's a bedroom and you come in here to sleep and you are lying down fair enough and again uh, just for myself that will be fine but uh, i would honestly say that the van Gogh that i had the space i won't call it a bedroom there was much more headroom than I've got here. So a little bit disappointed in the actual amount of physical space that I've got here and head clearance. Um, and Paul, I've just noticed this little bit a look here. Is this as thick? I, I think it's different, but this is like a, like rubberized almost, whereas in shiny, this, this whereas doesn't this is feel more conventional. Yeah, somehow it doesn't feel as thick somehow, but whether it is just the coating on it, I don't know. Um, but that in a nutshell is, the 229 um, Kentshire or Decathlon 4.1 inflatable tent. And then let's go and have a look and compare everything to the Euro hike. Right, I'll let, I'll let Paul give you the guided tour of his tent. <laughs> so, big plus point for me was a side door, which is what I specifically wanted, which is why that one was ruled out for me. Um, don't know why I specifically wanted a side door, but I did. Now straight away, it's darker in here. Let's uh, get a bit of light in. Yeah. The darker colour, stating the obvious, it's a lot darker in here, which straight away I do prefer. There is two little window at the front. And of course you can roll up the front door for more light if you wish. Should we do that? Let more in? Can do. I suppose it'll look better on film as well. So that's with the, uh, obviously the door at the front rolled up. It's just somehow definitely more pleasing to the eye, I think. It looks nicer, this does. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, it is too, si oh wow. Yeah, with the divider. Oh, okay. Oh wow, yeah, and loads of loads of pockets there. Yeah, loads. Is it the same that side? Yeah. yeah. And then so of course st you got straight away. Oh wow, yeah. That's nice well. as well down the centre. What I'm going to do is run my tube light, <laughs> and then put the battery pack in there. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Um. So yeah, as you can see, we've got unlike the Kencher next door, there is a divider which is easily dismantled. So just to make it one living area. Um, but let me just step inside just to compare. With mine, there was no chance. And uh, you know what? I can pretty much stand up. 
there's no way I could do that in mine. So yeah, cosmetically, um, I definitely prefer the feel. Oh yeah, it's a lot yeah. better. I can, yeah. I can now stand completely straight. And you've got a couple of inches spare. And I've got spare. So a yeah. six footer, we're probably better going better here. Little, there's the little zip for the electrics. All oh, right. He's posh. He is. He's got his. Uh, he's bought one of those connectors, so he's going to pay for electricity. So he. Um, I mean, let's be honest. Hey. Uh, no. Well, you know what. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. For electric hookup. Yeah. But let's explain. Paul, as I've goes to Riat every year. He does paramedicing down at Riat as a volunteer, and I love him doing that because he always gives me a free ticket. So that's when I like going in as well. And he did have a caravan, and this year he's got rid of the caravan, and he's going to be living in this for a few days. About eight. About eight days. Mm. Wow. Hence, electric hookup for that amount of time is a good thing to have. But yeah, definitely. I'd, I mean, I bet you're chuffed, aren't you? Yeah, I like it. It's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, have you got a little thing to peg it out or not? Yes, yeah, you just yeah. use these rings. So yeah, that would be your entrance way, wouldn't yeah, it? That's good. So after being in pools, let's just walk back into to this one again. It's a totally different feeling here. I mean, you could argue some people might prefer light. In some ways, walking in here, it just does feel a bit brighter. You know, it, it is brighter, obviously, stating the obvious. But um, like I said, you can see me just bending slightly. So any t anyone taller, Looking at the difference between the two, definitely the Euro hike has has it on there. Um, but anyone 5'11 or below, consider that. And definitely again with the bedroom. Um, but as Paul just said, um, he's not going to use the divider at all. But I do quite like that thing he had there with, you know, pockets. Storage is always a big thing, particularly if you're camping for a while. Uh, or is that just me? But I'm terrible for putting things down and forgetting where they are. <laughs> so any form of storage is really good. But, uh, no, it's been fun. I'll uh, let you be the judge, really. Um, it's always interesting to be able to compare, which is exactly what this was for. <laughs>